Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the Rand guitar, which was made between 1987 and 1988, and most famously played by Vivian Campbell during his early White Snake days. The guitars were built by a guy named Rand Havner, however the body and neck were actually made by Tom Anderson, and then Rand put everything together, and he sculpted the cutaways and did probably everything else to it. Rand Havner designed this guitar because he, in an early interview, once stated that there was no guitar that he really wanted at this time or had the features that he desired in a guitar. So he went out and decided to make the guitar which he wanted. There are many features that were really advanced at this time. For one, it had a really great sculpted cutaway on it. It had 27 frets and you could easily access all 27 frets on it. It had a deep set neck, which is the, the set neck tenon went all the way to the bridge pickup pretty much, whereas a lot of set necks in those times just went to the, um, you know, to the heel of the, you know, like a Les Paul. Another thing that was somewhat new is it had a recessed Floyd. And again, this is primarily what we see mostly in Floyd Rose guitars nowadays, but back in 1987, you didn't see a lot of recessed Floyd Roses. The fretboard was made of Paul Ferro, which is more of a tight-grained rosewood. The bodies were mostly made out of medium-dense mahogany. However, there have been some cases where it is made out of basswood or maybe some other wood. It was a somewhat of a custom shop. To, I guess you could consider it a, a boutique custom shop in a way. And he... If a customer wanted this wood, I'm sure Rand was happy to please that. The electronics were mainly Tom Anderson H2s and H1s, and the production models usually had a single coil. However, in some cases, the neck pickup was indeed a humbucker. It had an original Floyd Rose, and sometimes they had coil splits on them, sometimes not. It really depended on a few things. The tuners were Goto, and a Rand feature, which is something I haven't really seen in other guitars, is they were slanted somewhat as a 45 degree angle instead of a 90 degrees, which you see. And the last spec that was rather interesting are the paint jobs that Rand did to them. It's kind of unique. I really haven't seen a guitar with this kind of paint job since really these guitars. Uh, they kind of have a three-dimensional look to them and were really unique to the 80s where everyone was doing splatters and crackles. Rand really did something different. And really, this is the thing that pops out the most of these guitars when you see them are these particular paint jobs. There are supposedly less than 80 of these guitars ever made. When I was the website owner of the Rand Guitar Historical Archives website, I only found about 32 that had known pictures on them, so that leaves a lot of them unattended for. Now I'm going to talk about how it became to be and how it ended. So Rand, we, there's not a whole lot known about his Baxter story, and, and there's a lot of details missing in this, but I'm going to kind of try my best, and if I'm wrong about something, just comment below. But Rand, he was... Supposedly once a BC rich employee, he became friends with the band The Misfits, where Doyle and Jerry, those they decided to go make guitars together. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened with that, whether they started making guitars or they made some and it never came out to be, but at some point in time, Rand kind of did his own thing and moved to California, close to Tom Anderson's shop. He collaborated with Tom Anderson, Tom Anderson made the bodies and the necks of these guitars, and then Rand Havner probably pretty much did everything else. He put them together, sculpted the heels, carved them, and painted them. I also heard that a guy named Pat Wilkins painted them, so maybe they both did. Anyway, so he, he got the endorsement. And it wasn't really endorse, an endorsement, but uh, Vivian Campbell, when he left Dio, he was looking for a new guitar, and... Somehow, Rand met him through a friend, and they started talking on guitars, and Rand was showing him a picture of a guitar. I believe he might have also had a prototype he was able to show Vivian. 
But Vivian ordered a guitar right then and there with just seeing the design on a piece of paper and maybe a prototype and and kind of the rest of his history with with Vivian Campbell playing these guitars. Vivian Campbell wanted a guitar to play on his videos with White Snake, mainly Is This Love and Still of the Night. So this is a story I've heard. I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is, but I'm gonna just this is all I know so far. Like and if I'm wrong, comment below. But anyway, I heard that Vivian Campbell looked at this particular prototype style Rand right here and he said he wanted that to play in the video. He wasn't able to use it. So Rand built him another one be sent and which he could use in the video. This particular Rand right here is more of a prototype. I believe it's neck through. It's one humbucker and I don't think the recess is Floyd on it and it also had a different logo on it. But yeah, this is pretty neat. You can kind of see the the paint job. I I guess Vivian liked the paint job. It kind of you can't see as much from this one, but it has a three-dimensional look as you kind of get closer to it. 